you know, there was a time when I think people saw robots as a uh, as possibly taking people's jobs. What we've really enjoyed um, with with the collaborative robot products that, that we're that we're specialized in is that in most cases we're redeploying people or we're giving them assistance. We're, we're having the robot do the heavy lifting and letting uh, the person do the use their brain, use their their hands, their their eyes. You know the things that human beings are good at versus mm -hmm. just repetitive motions and, and, and strain and those types of things you know and i've also seen the robots like this really help with employee retention because you can take somebody that was doing this mundane task constantly thinking in the back of their mind man i'm gonna go somewhere else and get a better job well now you can easily take them somebody that's been with you for 10 15 years doing an awesome job finishing, knows what they're looking at. You can quickly teach them how to use this arm, let them feel more involved in the process and more involved in the company by having this value add. And now they can impart their knowledge into the process and let the robot do it. And I think it, it, that's the key too, when you're, you're talking about that first point there of decreases heavy labor too. So yep. if you're not doing this mundane tasks anymore and you're trying to eliminate that, that heavy labor, I mean, you're getting rid of injuries or getting away from injuries, getting rid of, you know, a lot of those mundane tasks that you guys are talking about. Yep, absolutely. Great. Well, doing this for many years, I can say I've seen more jobs created by robotics than I have seen eliminated. You're creating jobs. You're not taking jobs away. Um, the skill level that's required in today's world is nothing like what it used to be. Just like you said, you're creating a higher skilled employee. Yeah. It's not somebody that's just sitting there grinding away in a park. It's somebody that can read an electrical drawing, can look at the programs, can troubleshoot the mechanical side of everything. And that's, you know, bringing us as a country up higher in our employable personnel at this point in time there's such a there's such a large labor shortage we're seeing it in just about every industry we do have direct redeployment where where the robot will just take over the job and, and it'll run sometimes we're even running lights out mm -hmm. um, it's getting to be more and more common to where the, there's no operators there's nobody around you know maybe the robots hooked up or the automation's hooked up to some kind of a where it can contact people via email oh. or yeah and so, you know, to, to speak to that, it's 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 really application dependent. Whether we're assisting or we're redeploying or or some some combination of maybe it's taking a, a three or four CNC machines and and having one operator instead of four and having that person kind of uh, manage the robot, so to speak. 